Like where she finished in her, in her de truck debut has been her ceiling, and I, what I'm afraid of is history repeating itself. When she finished 13th in, in her Xfinity race last year, I feel like that will be her ceiling. I, I guess we'll just see how the season plays out for Haley. No, either uh, she's going to prove me and a lot of doubters wrong, or she's going to prove we have a lot of us right, and, and that she's not as good as we all thought she was going to be. I wasn't going to make a video about this, but since I made one last year, I'm, I guess we just might as well just come full circle. So obviously you know the big news of the day is that I know both AM Racing and Haley Deegan have decided to part ways in the middle of the 2024 Xfinity Series season. Now this comes after pretty much a disastrous you know, rookie campaign for both Haley and the race team. Now both parties, you know, they put out statements. Now I'll, I'll read you off AM Racing's statement here. AM Racing and Haley Deegan have decided to part ways, effective immediately. We are grateful for Haley's contributions and dedication as the driver of the number 15 Ford Mustang during her time with the race team. We wish Haley the best in her future endeavors and look forward to her continued success on and off the track. So that was just pretty much the generic you know, way of saying goodbye to somebody. You know, all companies pretty much say, no, we hope the best for your future endeavors and blah, 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 whatever. Alright, so now here's Haley's statement. Beginning this season, I had a lot of excitement and hope in taking my next step in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's something I've been working towards for years and always dreamt about. I worked hard to prepare for this season after the team pursued me to drive their car. Unfortunately, it has not turned out the way that I expected. There are always several reasons within a race team as to why things do or do not work. But sadly, our goals no longer align. With that being said, Myself and AM Racing will be parting ways. The only thing I am focused on is getting back to being competitive. That is all that matters to me. I'm working as quick as possible to find the best opportunities to get back to the track. I'm thankful for the following that I have and everyone who supports me. It's truly only me that knows the whole story and what I need to succeed. See you at the track soon. Well... I mean, what's, what else is there to say? Like, this wasn't really a shock. I mean, I, there's no progression in Haley's, you know, season. As you know, I mean, she was, before Chicago, 27th in points. Like, she was behind Eric Amarola. who only made five starts. Now, granted, Eric's only drove a JGR car. But still, when... She's made three times the amount of races that he's in, and he's a heaver in points. That's not good. And she was also behind, I believe it was Kyle C. I think Kyle missed two races, and he's ahead of her. And for Chicago, you no, know, not to Benedetto, he was only four points behind her, and he missed five races because he didn't have a ride. I mean, also, like, this isn't much of a shock either after what happened in Chicago. You no, know, Joey Logano went out there, qualified 15th, and finished 8th. Like, I think throughout the whole race, I don't think he dropped... I don't think he was ever outside the top 20. And, also, you know, he got their team's first top 10 this season. You know, Haley had no top 10s going in this season. Her best finish was 12th at Talladega. And that was after she pretty much ran last on the track all day. And she got lucky with a few cautions. And pretty much fuel strategy as well. So, I mean, like, no, Haley said, no, she's looking for the best opportunities. And you know, I saw Bob Pockris, you no, know, wrote an article that said, no, Haley Deegan loses Xfinity ride, leaving racing future uncertain. I mean, those both go together because, quite honestly, who would want her? And if, and if honestly, if somebody would want her, like, what good opportunity is there? Like, no one's going to take her in cup. Not just because of the charter system, because, you no, know, she's honestly not experienced. You no, know, the Xfinity program over at Ford, no, it's not great. You know, got the two Stuart Haas cars. And eventually, you no, know, that's just going to become the Haas factory team. I imagine Gene Haas or somebody, you know, they're going to have other guys lined up. You know, I mean, then there's the RSS racing team, which is essentially the same car she was racing in. She was pretty much racing around those guys. Unless, you no, know, the Red Jones team from the Arca series moves up the Xfinity series and they four puts money behind her. 
Like that that was probably the the biggest thing about this season was the fact that you know I'm understanding what AM Racing got some of their got a technical alliance with Stuart Haas and they got more backing from Ford when they brought her in. So like at what point do you just throw your hands up and say no I give up? It's a cre- it's a cruddy thing to say really because you no know, everyone wants her to succeed. You no, know, even though what I'm saying right now, we all want her to succeed. I want to see her succeed. But every weekend from 2022, let's say, you no, know, scratch out her, tw- her rookie truck season because you no, know, that was a little difficult without practice and qualifying. It got harder and harder to put faith behind her because she wasn't improving. Even in that time of Thor Spore, like we were hoping to see improvement, there was no improvement. And then she jumped into the deep end here in the Xfinity series, and it was the same thing. Hate to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Because I said last year, no, after that start in Las Vegas in 2022, no, her finish was going to be her ceiling. And boy, howdy, was I ever right. She only ever beat that 13th place finish once. And as I said earlier, mentioned at Talladega. You know, she finished 15th in the spring in Las Vegas. No, that was great and all, but like, what else was there to show for it? Like, no, like I said, no, no looking for big opportunities. There ain't a whole lot out there. And whatever, no, whoever, like, first of all, I said, who wants her? No, yeah, she might bring money and all that, but no, you're gonna face a chance of no seeing, you know, your car's getting wrecked. I mean, now, granted, not everything's her fault, but at the same time, you know, when you're running in the back all the time, you no, know, you have to start, you no, know, looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, no, what am I doing wrong? And this is an unfortunate discussion that we have to have. Like, the best thing for her to do is go to ARCA. You no, know, run there again, because that's when, you no, know, her 2020 season, you no, know, she had respectable numbers. Would she do that? Probably not. I'd be shocked if she does. You know, in the truck series, you know, what, what's she going to do? I mean, like, if she's still going to be with the Ford program, which I'm assuming, you know, she's still going to be with the Ford program, and I don't know, like, where are they going to put her? Going to have her run sports cars? Maybe, maybe they drop her. Maybe she can go do dirt races. I know she runs very well on dirt. You know, I saw in the SRX series, you know, she ran fine. I know, on dirt, I mean, like, like, I don't know. I mean, with AM Racing, it looks like their their next move is just put cup drivers in. Now, they had Joey Logano in the car last week, and they're going to put Josh Berry in the car for Pocono. And that looks like that's the plan. It just looks like Forza's is going to tell the cup drivers, hey, if you want more track time, go run the AM Racing car. Like, I don't know. Obviously, you know, the future's uncertain for Haley, you know, and... Like I said, it's, un- it's an unfortunate thing, but everyone should have seen this coming. I know a lot of the fans, you know, they still don't want to believe it. You know, they you know, they still want to believe, but at some point, as I already mentioned, you got to look in the mirror or at least start looking, looking around and say, I think I need to jump off this boat before I sink in it. 